The Red Hydrogen One is an ambitious new Android phone from the team that consistently pushes the boundaries of cinema quality cameras. But mostly, everything about it is a big mystery. It promises to display something called the 4V holographic video content without the need for 3D glasses and also capture H4B, that is the company's own holographic file format through a unique camera or that we can call a different kind of camera setup. What this tech actually looks like in action is quite unknown to everyone outside of red. That's going to change probably in April, according to Red, which said that it will likely have its preview event that month. We do, however, know key details about the release date window and the price. And it's certainly not in April as we are already a month past it now. Welcome back to Catnip, and today we have brought you some more updates on the Red Hydrogen 1. So come on, let's learn together. The Red Hydrogen 1 is shaping up to be a phone with a lot of promise and hype, yet few concrete details and specifications are available for the moment. For the first thing we know is that this debut phone from Red is set to debut via Verizon and AT&T by the end of the summer. And for prices, the device starts at US$1,195 for the aluminium variant or US$1,595 for the more premium titanium version. It is said to be releasing via carriers in summer and it's possible that we'll see carrier contracts bringing the price down considerably. There's nothing to be scared though as there will also be an unlocked version of the phone. Lastly, Red is stating that this price is for a limited time only, meaning that it could go up even higher closer to or even after the phone's launch. First coming to the screen, we all know that a phone screen is always the first thing to grab your attention and Red's device looks to take things a step further. Packed with a 5.7 inch 2560x1440 pixel resolution display which is Quad HD, it has the unique ability to show what the company calls 4V holographic content without the need for glasses. No one outside of Red has seen the holographic work in action but according to the company's CEO, the internal response can be summed up in gas swears or just grins. It's needless to say that we are intrigued to see it for ourselves. There's no word currently on what sort of display the Hydrogen 1 features, though for its high price tag, we would really like to see an OLED display since it would open up the door for Google Daydream compatibility in addition to just looking vibrant with rich colors. Beyond that, the Hydrogen 1 can display regular 2D as well as 3D images and videos. The phone's camera can also record in the special file types called the H4V, which really opens the door to wider adoption of 3D on a portable device, in addition to Red's 4V display file type. Next, coming to the design, in some ways, the Hydrogen 1 appears to look like most, if not all, smartphones. It's a 5.7 inch display, giving it a large chassis and it sticks the camera in a familiar zone right on the back. But the general look of the red phone, at least what we have seen of it so far, looks rather unconventional like the company's line of high-end cameras. Part of the phone's rear is elevated, perhaps to yield more comfort in hand. Near the phone's bottom, where you'll find a trusty 3.5mm headphone jack and USB Type-C charging port, there's a pogo pin connector, which the company plans to use in supporting the Hydrogen 1 with optional modular accessories much like the Moto Z and Moto Z Force. So far, Red has teased at some camera modules, but nothing is confirmed at the moment. The phone looks generally rugged all around with a grip-friendly material that looks to cater to those who are using it to record some footage. We are not sure if it's plastic or metal, but again, the phone's high price has us hoping for a premium long-lasting material. In terms of its weight, Red's CEO has stated that it will be 2 ounces more than most phones of its stature. Certainly, that's something to be expected, given the technology inbuilt. The big mystery surrounding the Red Hydrogen 1 is its front. We have seen that it will have thick best around its display, enabling Red more than enough room to fit in a fingerprint sensor, but that's a feature that we haven't heard confirmed yet. Now coming to the camera, just as fabled as its holographic ready display is the Hydrogen 1's camera, said to be able to record in 2D, 3D and H4V. This could shape up the most impressive sensor ever backed into a smartphone. But as with all things, we'll need to see it to believe it. There's a lot more that amounts to making a camera great, as we have seen with the Galaxy S8 and Google Pixel 2 among several candidates, a low aperture value and larger pixel sizes usually equates to amazing results. Just putting 
trading in high megapixel counts just don't cut it the same way anymore. But RED seems to be using its positioning in the camera world to its advantage with the Hydrogen 1. In addition to being able to use the phone as a key component to a cinema camera rig, RED is creating the Hydrogen network which will be filled with content from top name providers that users will have access to. Next coming to the battery, according to the RED CEO's long public statement on the Hydrogen 1 is a snippet about the phone's battery size. It's going to have a 4500 mAh battery, which is among the largest out there. This is just shy of Lenovo P2 and Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom, each of which clock in respectively at an industry-leading 5000 mAh capacity. And of course, neither rival phone boasts the high-end display and camera specifications that the Red Hydrogen 1 promises. Given the phone's modular capabilities, it seems likely that RED could release a battery boosting pack as well, just like the Moto Z which provides success on both a level of form and function. And finally coming to an end, we have to say much of what makes up the insides of the Hydrogen 1 is a mystery, but the veil is beginning to show it off. The phone is confirmed to feature the Snapdragon 835. Oddly, the CEO states it will contain the 835X, but we are yet to hear about this as a Qualcomm variant, so we'll just just consider it as a typo and assume it as the Snapdragon 835 or even the 845 perhaps. A few more unknowns are its RAM count and the version of Android that will be running right out of the box that users can expect when the phone launches by this summer. A surprising amount of phones seem to be launching with Android Nougat despite today's Android Oreo flavored world, so we wouldn't be shocked to see the same with this device. Regarding its RAM, our best guess would be 4 or 6 GB, both of which fall in line with flagship phones. That being said, it would be best to pack it with 6 GB or even 8 GB given its high price tag and promise of ambitious modular accessories to expand the experience. We'll be keeping a close eye on any movement that Red Hydrogen or its CEO make. It seems ambitious, somewhat worryingly so, but we are looking forward to being proved wrong when it releases later this year or perhaps even sooner this summer. So that's it for this video and we hope you liked it. A million thanks to our dear subscriber family for your continuous love and support and until next time, stay tuned for more.